This is module one, lesson five, absolute value. After this lesson, you need to be able to evaluate absolute value expressions. So let's learn evaluating expressions involving absolute value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on a number line. So for any real number x, if x is positive or zero, then the absolute value of x is x. If x is negative, then the absolute value of x is the opposite of x. That might be pretty confusing, so let's look at some numerical examples. But we're gonna skip down. If x is 12, then the absolute value of x, or the absolute value of 12, is just 12. If x is equal to negative seven, then the absolute value of x is the opposite of that number, which makes it positive seven. For me, I think it's easier to explain using a number line, so I'm gonna draw one real quick. If we look, the absolute value is just its distance from zero. Here's negative seven. How far is it away from zero? It's seven. Here's seven. How far is it away from zero? Also seven. Distance cannot be negative. You don't say you're gonna walk a negative three blocks to school. You just walk three blocks to school. However far away you are, you turn around and look at that thing and walk towards it, no matter what side you are on. So the absolute value, take how far away from zero it is, or take that number and make it positive. If it's already positive, leave it positive. Skipping to example two, evaluate the absolute value of an algebraic expression. Evaluate the absolute value of negative two x y plus five y, if x equals six and y equals negative three. Let's evaluate with x equals six and y equals negative three. Here, they showed us plugging in six where x was and negative three every time that y showed up. They're substituting those values. Now we can go through and begin to simplify. So following order of operations within the absolute value, Multiplication is going to come first. So they already showed us five times negative three is negative 15. We need to multiply negative two times six times negative three. I'm gonna think back to the associative and commutative properties and I'm gonna actually rearrange this in my head and do negative two times negative three to get six and then six times six is 36. Now we can move on to subtraction. So 36 minus 15 is 21. Now we have only our value inside the absolute value. We can take the absolute value. So the absolute value is just the positive version of that number. It's already positive, so we're gonna keep it positive. 21 is our answer. Pause the video and write down your thoughts. How would you evaluate the expression of the absolute value negative two times the quantity xy plus five y using the same values that we just did? Pause the video and write down your thoughts now. You should have thought something along the lines Hopefully you thought something along the lines, you're gonna still substitute in the values for x and y. Then you need to do parentheses first, then multiply by negative two. Finally, once your absolute value is all simplified, then you would do the absolute value and make whatever that value is positive. Check your understanding for evaluating absolute value. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have got negative 23. 
let's go through and figure out how to get that. So first, we're going to substitute negative 2 in for A and negative 3 in for B. So I have negative absolute value 5. A is negative 2 plus 3 times 2 times negative 2 again for A, negative 3 for B, minus 1, end parenthesis, and absolute value. I'm going to simplify parentheses first to follow order of operations. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, times negative 3 is positive 12, minus 1. That's in our parentheses. If I just keep simplifying it, I get 11. So 11 was in my parentheses. With the 3 out front, absolute value at the end, plus negative 2, 5, and negative absolute value. All right, now multiplication. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, plus 3 times 11 is 33 absolute value of that and make it negative. Negative 10 plus 33 is 23. Take the absolute value. The absolute value of 23 is 23. So you might be thinking the answer should be positive 23. However, there is a negative sign outside the absolute value. So once we calculate that the absolute value is 23, this is still negative. It's going to make it negative right at the very end. Negative 23. Example 3. Evaluate an expression involving absolute value. When evaluating algebraic expressions, absolute value bars act as grouping symbols. Perform any operations inside the absolute value bars first. So evaluate 23 minus the absolute value of 3 plus 4x, if x equals 2, then select the statement below to justify each step. So we have 23 minus 3 times the absolute value of 4x. First, we're going to substitute in 2. So we're replacing x with 2. Now we're going to do order of operations within the parentheses. So 4 times 2 is 8 so we're going to multiply we're still simplifying absolute value first so 3 plus 8 is 11 okay right there now we need to take the absolute value of 11 which is positive 11 and then that minus out front puts it right back to negative so the absolute value of 11 was 11 and then finally, now that our absolute value is gone, we can do everything outside of it. So here there is only the 23. 23 minus 11 is 12. We just got that by subtracting or simplifying. Check your understanding. Pause the video and evaluate the expression if y equals negative 3. Choose from the answers below. Check your answer. Let's determine which answer it is. So first let's plug in negative 3 in for y. So 1.4 minus 2.5 absolute value of 5 times negative 3 plus 0 0.6 absolute value. Solving absolute value first. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 plus 0.6 a negative plus a positive brings it closer to zero so negative 14.4 then I'm going to take the absolute value of that which makes it positive so positive 14.4 now I can multiply that by negative 2.5 so finally, then I would subtract from 1.4, 1 1.4 minus, and then negative 2.5 times 
2.5 times 14.4 is 36. And it's negative, so that stays negative. Finally, 1.4 minus 36 is going to bring us to negative 34.6a. So again, we just evaluated inside the absolute value first before doing anything outside of it while still following order of operations.